everybody, welcome back to Taylor Toned. You have made it to a 30 minute follow along complete floor bar workout. If you've not checked out my Instagram, head over to at Taylor Toned. Also make sure you hit subscribe, give me a massive thumbs up and a comment on this video. This is equipment free, but I would advise that you do have a Pilates mat or something to protect your back, knees and wrists. It's gonna be amazing, we're gonna shake, we're gonna to burn together and stretch. Let's get straight into this workout. Starting in a seated position. You're gonna bring your feet hip distance apart. Take a bend through the knees. You're gonna sweep those hands to the side. Turn your palms to me, grow off the sit bones. Find an inhale in and exhale. Grow the crown of the head up to the sky, roll the shoulders down. Now sweep the hands into a first, back out into a second. Sweep to a first, so keep a bend through the knees, open through the heart. This is your warm up, so I'm just gonna warm up the body, reach those hands out. Sweep the hands forward. Open through the chest, you're gonna be super proud of your workout for the next 30 minutes. Sweep to the side, and we go forwards again. Now let's switch it up. Sweep open, close, lift, down, up, fifth, side, down. So you're taking that balletic intention, First with the arms, fifth with the arms. I want you to keep that circular action through the elbows. Slight bend through those elbows. Remember, sit nice and tall off your sit bones. We go up, side, forward to the ceiling. If this doesn't feel good for you with those legs, you can either find a cross-legged position or just sit on top of your heels so the legs will be underneath yourself. We go up and side. Center, lift, two more, sweep to the side, forward. Now keep those shoulder blades and roll backwards and down. Now lift the hands to the ceiling and you're gonna open. Out to the side, twist, back through center. Other way, we go. Out to the side, twist, and back through center. Sitting nice and tall again, off your sit bones, off your butt, grow nice and tall, crown of the head to the ceiling. If you can start to feel it in those hip flexors where your hips are, feel free to lengthen the feet in front of yourself. We go twist out to the side and center. Three more, twist to the side. Through center, two more, twist it out. Back through center, one more. Twisting out now, back to the center. You're gonna lengthen the feet out in front of yourself. Draw the heels together, open through the toes. Turn out through the legs, lengthen through those knees, inhale. Exhale, let's reach towards your feet. Fold the body over, quick hamstring stretch. Trying to draw your nose in, down, in between your shins. Then roll sequentially up through the spine and sweep the feet behind yourself. You're gonna bring your hands onto your shoulders, straight into your core part of the workout. So once you tuck the toes under, you're gonna lift the knees off. Eye line down in between your fingertips. Pull the belly button towards the spine. You're gonna start to walk back into a plank and then you're gonna walk it in towards a plank. So, if this is a little bit too much for you, don't panic. I just want you to hold a modified plank. If it's okay for you, let's do this. Hands underneath your shoulders, and as much as you can, I know you're trying to keep an eye on me, keep your eye line down towards the floor. You will feel this in the upper body too. I want you to lengthen the crown of the head away from the body, or we go in and in, we step it in, then in. Now step the feet backwards, and you're gonna hold this position. I want you to draw your feet in line with your hips. You've got a straight line crown of the head down towards those heels. Now glue the belly button in, tip the tailbone under, invert your hip bones towards your abs, towards your abdominum, and that should make you burn and shake. Now you're gonna bend through the knees, push backwards, press forward again. We go, bend through those knees, push back, push forward. Inhale, exhale. So you want the eye line between your fingertips, your cervical spine, which is the top of your spine. I don't want you doing this where it collapses. I want your eye line forward to really lengthen through the spinal column, get all those vertebrae engaged. Squeeze back, push. Two more like this, push forward. I know you can feel those shoulders. One more, push forward. Now you're gonna bend the hips, Rotate the knees to the left, back through center. Now push through the middle, press it back. Other side, bend the knees to the right, back through center. We go, bend for two, we push it forward for two. Other side, go drop the hips down, 
shoot the hips forward. The whole time you do this, I want you to really engage through the abdominals. We go left side, push, back to the center, through the middle, push, press. Let's burn those arms out. Let's burn your core out. Let's get it ready for the rest of your workout. We go through center, push, we go back to the middle. One more here, to the side, back through center, now hold. You're gonna touch your inner thighs together. We're gonna start to draw, left knee in, push back. Right knee in and press. Left knee in, push. Right knee in, you can keep those abs strong. Don't drop out now. This is the end of your warm up. Squeeze the knee in. Try and get one straight line through the body. Draw that knee into the chest. You've got five. You have four. You can do this. Three, and push. You've got it. Two, press. Last one. Well done, drop those knees to the floor. Sit the hips back to your heels. Reach the hands behind the back. Inhale. As you exhale, straighten through those arms. Interlace the fingertips. Open through the pectorals. Drop the hands to the thighs. Give yourself a little shoulder roll round. In towards a puppy pose stretch. So bring the hands forward. Shimmy back on those knees. And I want you to walk the hands out in front of yourself. Draw the hips towards the ceiling. I think of the words then. Drop the crown of the head towards the floor. Find a breath. Inhale. Exhale. So it's not a child's pose. Puppy pose. Your legs, your arms are on a train track. Running parallel to each other. Draw the hands towards the shoulders. Carefully unwind through the spine. And you're going to go ahead. It's time for your arms. So I want you to sweep those hands out and towards the second position. Now flip the palms to the ceiling, roll the shoulders down, sit high off your heels. You're gonna bring your left arm in, extend, in, extend. So that's all we're doing to start with. The next four minutes is gonna make you shake and burn, but you can do this, we are in it together. In, extend, six here. You've got five more here and reach. You've got four to the change. You've got three till we switch it up. You've got two, extend, last one. Now bring the elbows in towards the waist, flare the fingertips up towards the sky. Rotate those palms up. Roll the shoulders back and down. We go, push back, squeeze in. Press back, squeeze in. So you're still going on that V shape that we were just in there. Press back, squeeze in. So my arms, they aren't going, I'm gonna go side on so you can see. My arms, they aren't going in line with my shoulders. They're coming just in front of my body and towards the V. We go push, then in. Push back, squeeze in. Now pull the belly button in. If it doesn't feel good for your knees, sitting on your hips, you can always bring it back into a cross-legged position or take that starting position where we were in, that we were in even, where the legs are out in front of yourself. Go push and in. You've got four and in. Three more here till we hold. Two more here till we hold last one. Now keep the palms out there. Now draw this little pinky backwards in line with your shoulder. Little lift, little lift, little up. Little look, squeezing that fingertip up towards the sky. Now, as you do this, don't forget, notice your shoulders roll down away from your ears. You are creating as much distance as you can from your ear down towards the shoulder. You are zipping yourself up in the tightest corset you have ever, ever, ever worn. Pull the belly button in. You've got seven and six. You have five more here. Four, we hold in three, in two, in one, now stay here nice and slow. Round, turn the palms to the sky, and then turn that little pinky back up towards the ceiling. So we go, round, turn the palms up, you've got it. Back towards the ceiling, you have four rotations, nice and slow, squeezing it round, and we go, squeeze it back. You've got three more here, who's burning? <laughs> and we go, squeeze it back, two more here, we rotate up to the sky, we squeeze it back, now last one. Rotate up, that's not it. Squeeze a little pinky towards the ceiling, roll the shoulders down, then take little pushes back, press, press. Squeeze, push something really heavy behind yourself, someone you really don't like, maybe it's me, squeeze them away. Now take it a little bit faster, we go push, push, press, press, inhale, exhale. You've got this, squeeze as heavy as you possibly can, roll the shoulders down, you've got five and four, tricep dips in three, in two, in one. Woo! Sweep the 
a bit forward, bring your fingertips towards your heels, lift the hips off, fingertips to heels, bend, push, big bend, big push. If this is too much for you right now, maybe your arms are on fire or any wrist issues, you can always let your sit bones touch down towards the floor. Or you can make a fist position, go bend, then push, bend, press, you've got it, five, lift. Four until an isometric hold. Three, lift, two, lift. Now last one, bend the elbows for me. You're gonna go ahead, you can do it. Look at the timer, not long left. Rock the weight backwards, bend through the elbows, little tiny pulses, pulses. 15 seconds of this pulse down towards the floor. Connect your mind to body. Remember why you switched me on, you came for a shake and a burn. You want those results, so bend those elbows deeper, push the weight back, because you just have five, Woo! Four, three, two, one. Well done. Bring yourself into a cross-legged position. Give yourself a little roll out through those wrists, little shoulder all round. You're gonna go ahead, sweep the feet behind yourself. You're gonna come on towards your forearms at this point. So forearms down. Walk the left leg into the center. Shoot this right leg backwards, extend through the toe. You're gonna rainbow kick. So the toe goes invert, lift them to the side. It lifts, it goes invert over, it lifts to the side, then up. Invert, lift, over, lift. So really think right now, you're drawing a rainbow with your toe. Imagine you have a pencil, and now a, cray a Crayola, <laughs> Crayola rainbow, get it colored, um, <laughs> on the end of your toe, and you're drawing me a really pretty picture of a rainbow. And then you're going to change the colour on the end of your toe because you need more than one colour in a rainbow. And lift, we go over. What should your body be doing right now? You should be pulling your abdominals in, pressing into the forearms, rolling the shoulders away from your ears. You're not a turtle, so get the head out of your shell, which is your torso. And I want you to make sure you're not sinking into that supporting hip. So if your supporting hip is aching on that left side, press into the right forearm and make sure it's like you have the supporting side of the body pushed up against a brick wall or against a pane of glass. Go tap, then lift. You've got it. Four more of these. Over. That's three. Lift, we tap it over, then up. You've just got two more here till a hold. Go over and lift. You've got it, don't give it on me now. Last one, now lift up and hold there. You're gonna now extend through both the arms. So arms are straight, leg is extended. Your hip is on down towards the floor. It's pointing down towards the floor. Nice deep inhale, exhale. Now no break this time, over the rainbow with no breather or break. Wasn't really a breather or break the first time, was it? Was it just a pause? <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> You're just gonna go over the rainbow. Over the rainbow, you've got it, over. Now make sure your hips are down towards the floor. I want your hips to be down towards the floor because this is all about working the top of your butt. It will get into the side of your booty too, but I wanna make sure I'm getting into that gluteus maximus, which is that big muscle that wraps around the side of your butt and on top of your butt. It will contribute to a round perky bum. So do this with me, over. We go over, Whew. inhale. Exhale, you've got this. You've got three more of these to go. Over the top, you have two more. Draw that rainbow. Over the top, one more. And now you're gonna hold it. I know you hate me. Hate me now, love me later. You're gonna flex through the foot. And now, open through the toe, draw the toe back down. So the hip, it rolls as well. Open through the toe, draw the toe back down to the floor. I'm laughing because you know what? It's burning so badly. I don't know if it's because I went to a bar class last night and I'm burning from that, or whether it, this is just tough. Open, keep the abdominals pulled in. Press in towards those palms. Ground your palms into the mat. Grow the crown of the head long. Remember your form. We're getting long and lean like a dancer, so get that body long and down to the floor. You've got two more here. Take it down. One more, Woo! open to the side. Take it down, now stay there. Turn your flex into a point. You're gonna go ahead and circle this right foot round to the side. So you can bring it down. Don't let it touch the floor. Now little, up, up, up. 
pressing towards those palms. Lift, squeeze that toe towards me. Go push, you've got five and four. You've got three, you've got this two, one. Oh. No time to break. Bring the forearms back down towards the floor. Press the palms down, walk the left leg, right leg even in towards the center and extend the left toe backwards. We go over, invert, lift to the side. We go over, lift, side, lift. So I don't actually live in England. I live in a European country. I know that England is in Europe. It's very hot um, and it's ra been raining for the past six days. But if you've ever lived in a hot country, you know those days when it's been like summer and then suddenly it's cloudy and it's rainy and it's so humid. Right now I've got sweat dripping from places that is totally inappropriate for YouTube. But oh my gosh, it is humid today. Lift, we go over. Maybe it's not even humid, maybe it's just this workout destroying me. Over, lift, we go side, then up. You've got to go over, lift, we go. Tap to the side, again. Do not sink into the supporting hip, it is so tempting. So if that visualization didn't work where I said push it up against brick wall, I want you to think about both your hip bones right now. Take your eye lines off the hip bone for just a second, then lift it back in between your fingertips slowly. Watch that cervical spine. The hip bones, they should be level. So you could balance your hip bones on top of a table and they would be level. You could put them on one of those level a thing where the bubble goes in the middle. It should, the bubble should be in the middle, it should be level. Over, then lift, you've got it. Tap to the side. Two more, over, lift, Whew. tap, then up. One more, go over, lift, we go. Side, up, now keep the leg backwards, you're gonna go ahead. Extend through those arms, draw me a rainbow again. Invert over, no break this time, up, lift and tap. Oh, if you burn during this workout, give me a massive thumbs up. Share me with your friends. Be like, you want some torture today? <laughs> Check out Taylor Town. <laughs> it's just online torture. I'm shaking so much. I shouldn't say that really on YouTube, should I? Disclaimer, this is not torture. We go open to the side. We go round and tap. Now keep that belly button drawn all the way up towards your spine. Engage the core. You have a seatbelt on and it is wrapped around your waist and you're really secured in with that seatbelt. You feel nice and safe, the core is strong. Over, we go side and press and you've got this. Two more of these big rainbows. Over to the side, Woo! out again. One more, it's that invert in that kills you. Over to the side, out again. Now lift it up, flex the foot. Open the hip, open the toe, roll it back down. Open the toe, open the hip, and back down. So you wanna open your hip bone right now towards me. Not too much, I don't want a full rotation. I want a tiny miniature like, it's like you're flashing me your hip bone. Hey, there's your hip. No, you can't see it again. <laughs> Three more, we go, open to the side. Keep the core nice and strong. Support inside of your body, it's still pushed up against the pain of class, the brick wall. One more, out to the side down to the floor. Now keep those arms nice and strong. Turn your flex into a point, make it beautiful. Elongate through the knee joint, lift that leg one inch higher up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, ground those palms down. Do not let the head collapse. Eye line in between your fingertips. Now draw that toe towards me. I know you can. Draw the toe to me, don't let it touch the floor. Little lift, little lift, little up, little up. Inhale, Woo! exhale, up. Oh, if you're doing this workout and someone's in the next room, like probably like, who's shouting? <laughs> Lift, we go front up. Up, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna roll yourself all the way down onto your back. So I want you to bring your hands, you're gonna interlace the fingertips and you're gonna support your head. Bring your hands around the back of your head. Walk your heels in towards your glutes and let's crunch. Inhale, the breath in, prepare. Exhale, draw the chin to the chest and lift the head, neck, shoulders off. And then slowly dropping it back down towards the floor. So let's go on the beat, go up and up. We take it down. Down, I love that two beat. <laughs> I'm always just like up for two, down for two. 
like it never changes that's the beat that's the only beat you can do we go for a lift lift talking about beats i hate it i don't know about you i did a class the other day and everything was 16 counts and then you change to do another 16 counts not a dance class a fitness class it really made me um made my blood boil it's like you know you can do like an eight or a four we go lift lift take it down and down if you don't know what i'm on about you're probably like why is gabby being so moody slowing people off <laughs> we go lift lift we go down and down now this time hold it head neck shoulders off the floor so peel the shoulders off the floor eye lines forward now take the toes together knees to the sky you're going to open the knees out you're going to push the feet forward a little bit close the legs and draw the toes back in we go open push close in the whole time you do this i want your abdominals engaged head neck shoulders off the floor do not let the shoulders drop down you will lose the burn this is nothing to do with you toning your legs you get a little hip flexor stretch as we do this but this is about abdominal engagement we go out down in keep the head neck shoulders off the floor if you start to feel your body creep down check yourself in again remember why you came you came to burn you came to shake we have one more in open slide close now draw the toes in i want you to step your feet back in line with the hips lower the heels to the floor you've not come out of that crunch though lower the heels down now you're going to squeeze your left elbow to left heel center squeeze Whew. this is when it starts to burn through those abdominals squeeze who said you couldn't get a decent burnout in less than 30 minutes go round center you've got four you've got three you've just got two rotations one more now hold through the middle we can do this option either stay here or you're going to bring your left toe off take a point through the toe turn the knee out further option balletic intention let's turn out through those hip flexors toes together open the knees now go there throw those hands through your legs and go up 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 lift this workout has absolutely written me off <laughs> northern saying written me off destroyed me killed me made me sweat made me burn hope it has for you too we go for a reach you've got five and four and three two drop down one Whew. well done hands go around the hips we're not done yet bring your left leg into the tabletop you're gonna go there bring your right leg into that tabletop position now you're gonna flex both the feet here i want you to draw left heel away bring it back in right heel pushes presses it squeezes in do not let your spine come off the floor when you get up from this workout or right now in the workout you know your back mine is super sweaty right now i just keep going on about that sorry i want you to have left a sweat imprint of the whole of your body on your mat so get the back in towards your mat you want an imprinted spine spread the shoulders across your mat i want no bridges with your lumbar spine you should have your lumbar spine pressed in towards the mat you should have the abdominals engaged remember this is an ab workout so many people say gabby i can't feel this in my abdominals grow the spine long pull the belly button towards the back of your body Fasten up that seat belt, whatever works for you. Fasten up that corset, pull everything in super tight. Press the palms to the floor for support. Try and bring the eye line towards the ceiling. Go in and in. You've got five more of these. Go in and in, four more. Go push, press, so we go in and in. Now add resistance with that heel to make it even harder. Stamp something away super heavy and then bring it back in. One more, we go push, press, now hold here. You're gonna now touch your inner thighs together. If you wanna go there, you're gonna sweep your hands into a fifth position. This will make it more advanced, some modification, keep your hands on the floor. Now take a point through the toe. You're gonna open through those knees. This is your advanced option. Modification, keep the hands where they are. Inhale, exhale, advanced option, this is it. Sweep the hands back, oh my gosh, and then bring it back to the center. If you're advanced, go for that. If you want the modification, just sweep the legs and in again further modification 
just sweep the arms. Complete modification, just hold here for me. Press the lumbar spine into the floor. I want zero people feeling it in their lumbar spine right now. If you can, reset yourself. Take yourself back in towards that tabletop position we were just in. We go, inhale in, exhale push, lengthen, in and in. Back on that 2B again. Press, 2B. We go in, inhale in, Woo! exhale squeeze. You've got this. two more of these to go. Sweep those hands behind yourself. One more. Press. Go in and in. Now you're going to close your inner thighs together. Bring your hands around the back of your thighs. You're going to pop an apple in between your chin and your chest. You're going to hold the apple still and then peel the head, neck, shoulders off the floor. And you're going to lift up here for me. So peel the head, neck, shoulders off, elbows round. This is your final part of your class, so options. Stay here for the modification. If you want that advancement, a little bit harder, shoot those legs away. Now press the palms down to the floor. You're gonna press right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. So opposite hands go in here. Push, press, push, press, press. Push the hands, something heavy in towards the floor, get the head, neck, shoulders off. You've still got that apple in between your chin and your chest. You've got your eye line forwards towards your thighs. We're not going to change. This is all we're going to do. We're just going to up the tempo to finish. Look at you. Press, 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 press. Now faster. Change, 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 change. You've got just four, three, two, one. Ricky Baker. Well done. <laughs> Close the eyes. So you're gonna turn the palms up towards the sky and the soles will lift you down towards the floor and you have made it. We have a stretch to finish off. I need a towel right now. <laughs> Did anyone else sweat during that or was it just me? You're gonna go ahead, bring both the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a hug. Now stay for the stretch, try not to switch me off. I need you to repair your body, you need to stretch out your muscles. The best result's gonna come if you stretch after class. You're gonna rock yourself back, rock yourself up and forwards. Did the sequence the other day, absolutely loved it. I want you to go ahead, bring your weight on towards your hands, facing towards me, and I want you to send your left leg out to the side. The toe is gonna to point towards me on the screen, and then you're gonna drive your hips back towards this heel for an inner thigh stretch, and lower the palms, and the forearms down to the floor, incline the body over and press your belly button, your abdomen on towards this thigh. You should feel the stretch here underneath your leg on the left side. Inhale the breath in, exhale if it's within your ability. You can always drop the crown of the head down towards the floor as well and deepen the stretch. The toe needs to be pointing towards me. I want you to then lift all the way up and then you're just going to close the legs together and take the other side of that. So the right leg goes to the side, toes towards me, and then drive the hips on towards your heels. Press the chest down towards the thigh. Bring the palms down, bring the forearms down. Breathe into the stretch. Inhale in. Exhale, press. Love this one. I love this inner thigh stretch. It feels so good. Again, if it's within, within your range of movement, you can always drop the crown of the head down towards the floor. Pressing that chest nice and low, opening through the hip. And then you're going to carefully lift yourself all the way up. And I want you to roll in towards a box position, in towards a four point position. Cat and cow. Inhale, scoop the abdominals up. Press the middle of the back towards the ceiling. You're like a scared cat on a hot tin roof. Inhale, exhale. Oh my gosh, guys, I've just looked down at my pants. My crotch is all wet. <laughs> you can lift the eye line up. How embarrassing. You can lift the eye line up. Let's hope this video doesn't get many views. Inhale, exhale again, other way. Press the middle of the back up towards the sky. And then popping the sit bones down towards the floor. I want you to bring both the feet forwards. Take a parallel position so the toes up towards the sky. Now reach the hands. Inhale to the sky, I'm laughing because this whole leg is just wet. Inhale, exhale, press the chest forward, you're gonna reach for your toes. Now I want the back of the knees to be going down to the floor, none of this bending business. I want you to lengthen through the knee joint, press the chest down. 
The further you get the crown of the head forwards and the nose forwards, the deeper the stretch is going to be. If you can get all the way down, absolutely fabulous, deeper stretch, flex through the feet. If you can't get very far at all, do not worry, I just want you to make sure you can feel the stretch behind the back of your legs. Slowly roll yourself all the way up. You're going to reach those hands towards the sky, inhale. Exhale, sweep forwards, draw the hands down the side of the legs, inhale, so you're just taking that motion, exhale, sweep the hands down, reach around the side of the legs, one more, inhale, exhale, sweep the hands forward, draw the hands around the side of the legs and roll up. From here, bringing the feet round behind yourself, send yourself on towards your heels, bringing your left hand across the chest, use this arm to pull under and hold. And then if you want to go there, you're going to bring the head off towards the side, rolling the left shoulder blade down and away. Bending through this active arm here, so this left arm. Then you're going to scoop this arm under. You'll get in tension. I'm going to do it, but my mic's in the way. You'll get in tension, wrap the palms together, evil stretch. Draw the fingertips towards the sky and bow the nose down towards your sternum, down towards your chest bone and hold there. Slowly release it, give yourself a little shoulder roll, other side, can't miss that one out, drawing the right arm across the chest, hooking under. So you want to be below the elbow or above the elbow with this arm, not on the elbow, I want to lengthen the joint. Roll the shoulder down, take the eyeliner gaze off towards the sky, remember to keep lengthening through the vertebrae. And then finding that eagle stretch. Press the palms together, lift the fingertips up, draw the chin in towards the chest. Drop the hands down, give yourself a shoulder roll. Reach the hands up, inhale. On the exhale, draw those hands down through a prayer position. Bring the hands to the heart center, roll the shoulders down, and I want you to close your eyes. Find a breath in. Exhale. And now this time, I want you to breathe in, draw in positivity. And then exhale, ne negativity. And well done in your 30 minute floor bar workout with me. Absolutely love that one. I am dripping with sweat. I don't know whether it's because of the humidity or that was just tough. Let me know anyway down below how you found that one. Hit subscribe and I will see you again in a couple of days for another workout. Bye everyone.